Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today I'm going to show you guys um, my top tips for chat within Microsoft Teams. Uh, if you do find this video useful, then uh, you know what to do. And with all that said, let's jump on over to uh, Microsoft Teams. Okay, so here I am just in um, Microsoft Teams and we're going to talk about uh, chat primarily and uh, not just the chat uh, within the chat section, um, but also within your Teams channel and the new conversation uh, element that has been added in to Microsoft Teams recently. Um, so to start with, let's just hop over to the chat. Uh, as a lot of you will probably know, you can compose a new message using the icon at the top right hand side of the chat section. If we give that a click, you have the ability to add a name. I'm just going to type in Chris and there we go, right? So now we have um, a message here, right? So one thing that you'll notice is the ability to type a message straight away, right? And uh, my tip number one in this scenario is to actually use the shift key to go down a line, right? So if I say here is line one, if I were to just press return, um, I would basically be sending the message. However, if I hold shift and press enter, I go down a line and then I can continue with a new paragraph. So here is line two. So that is a tip number one, really handy feature. Um, it stops you basically creating one line messages all the time uh, in your chat feeds. And you can actually set out um, a bit of a paragraph uh, structure in your chat messages. Something that's really easy to do from mobile devices um, and it's nice to know that you can do it also using the shift key uh, in a laptop environment or a desktop PC. So the next thing that I want to talk about is formatting options, right? So down here in the uh, bottom left hand side of this message icon, you have a little A with a pencil, right? If we give that a click, that'll expand the um, message box basically. And you have functions to basically go bold, italic, underline, score through. You can highlight, you can go uppercase, lowercase, paragraphs, and you can do a lot of alignments and bullet point lists. So you can put links in, etc., etc. right? Um, and you even have a, a few additional uh, pieces here such as tables. One thing that's really useful about popping this out into a slightly bigger um, dialogue box is when I was doing that here is line one, I no longer have to hold the shift key. I can just press return and move up and down and add new paragraphs as needed. So, um, you know, usually I expand this using the format options so that I can actually type as if you were typing an email a lot more efficiently. Okay, but obviously if I were to then type in uh, here is line two, what I can do is highlight this and this one could be bold, right? Uh, this one can be underlined and maybe I would like to highlight this pink and, and I can do that, right? I can also go down a line and um, remove that formatting. Here is line three uh, and this time I'm going to highlight this in yellow. And it gives you a few additional options, right? So again, I can come over here and add a table and I'm gonna go four uh, columns, three rows, and now I have a table in this message as well. Um, header, header, uh, exactly. Um, and again, you get some formatting options, uh, you know, so it just makes things uh, generally a little bit uh, easier to communicate in these chat feeds, right? And obviously you have lots of other formatting options here. So if we wanted to format this top row as a heading, I can do that. Uh, this last line here might be, um, let's say, monospaced, then it's like this. So there's lots of things that you can do um, within your chat uh, feeds that you may not already know about. Um, so yeah, really cool to know what happens there. And again, when it comes to chat in general, um, you obviously have the ability to create these individual or group chat messages here, but sometimes it's actually better to start using uh, your channels for chats, right? Uh, and communications. So it's all about kind of targeting who you're communicating with. So if, for example, you know, you are creating a group chat message, 
that actually pretty much was the entire team, you might have been better off actually communicating to the entire team through the communication section here uh, on posts, right? So in the posts tab, you can create a new conversation. So if we give that new conversation a click, it opens up this section just here. And again, we hit the uh, A with a pencil mark and we get the ability to have a lot more functions, right? So this is a new conversation, but we could also create an announcement if we wanted to. And when we create an announcement like this, we can add an image. So I'm just gonna go and grab something from my desktop here. Um, so let's see if there is anything in my directory for pictures. Um, so if I wanted to, I could add this in and I can adjust this uh, image accordingly. Um, leave that somewhere like there. Um, and click done, right? So now I have this image as a header to get people's attention uh, within this post section. I can also give it a subheader. Um, so here is a test. Um, and then I can also at mention people if I wanted to uh, and type out uh, the main body of the actual um, communication. Then you can lock this down. So it could be that um, everyone can reply to this. Um, or just, you know, moderators, etc. And you also have the ability here to post it into multiple channels. Um, and this can sometimes get confusing. These channels can be cross department. Um, so for example, right, I have two teams. So um, I'm in the general channel here for that office guy. If I want to post it into all of these, I can do exactly just that. Um, so you can see how two different teams and yet even from this team, I can communicate into this team in a single post. So let's just click update and you can see all of those channels are in there. Uh, and what I can do now is actually just go ahead and send that. And now that's communicated here, right? So I'm inside this channel. Uh, it's been communicated to everybody within um, my, that office guy team. If I hop over to Crypto for News, you can also see it here, right? And I can reply. So again, I have the more options. I can expand this and I can say um, hi from uh, the Crypto for News, right? Um, and then send that over. Now there's this reply just here that says hi. Now, if I go over to test channel two, that reply is not there. It is also not there for this one, and it is not there for the main communication from the channel that actually created it. So it's important to understand that actually when you create a multi-channel post like this, it creates uh, duplicate versions of the same communication in each of these channels and teams, and then you can spark individual conversations among different members of each team. So that's quite a useful way of communicating when it comes to um, you know, basically messages and chat messages in Microsoft Teams. It's something that I use quite a lot um, and it's quite handy to um, kind of get your head around what that is doing because it is quite powerful when you have an image there for announcements. Um, and the other thing you can do is obviously save messages. So if we go into uh, this particular message here from my general channel, uh, if I click on those three dots there, I can save this message, okay? Now saved messages are up inside your avatar icon. So if I just give that a click there and I scroll down to the saved message icon, give that a click, then you can see over here on the left-hand side, all of my saved messages. And I can flick between them and it will take me to those individual messages, okay? And then I can easily just untag them um, and then go back into the Teams and you know, therefore you can manage what messages and which communications and which chats you want to be um, saved and then find them very quickly and easily later on. The other things that you can do is actually start by finding messages um, just through the command bar at the top here. So for example, um, there are lots of different commands that you can use, uh, such as slash unread, right? So if we just go forward slash here, you can see, I'll see a list of all of the various different commands that we actually have available. And um, some of the most powerful ones in terms of chat messages are unread. And um, so if I click on that, you can see all of my unread messages get filtered automatically over here, right? Um, in the case of this, I, you know, I haven't got any unread messages, but if we just do a, a forward slash again, we get to more options just here. Um, so if I wanted to go to chat, I can find a chat message and type a person's name in. In this case here, there's only actually two of us inside uh, this um, telnet for Microsoft Teams. So, um, you know, I can go straight to the person, click there, and I can type a message to them. So straight away, this function here allows me to chat mess, send a chat message directly from the bar at the top, which is really powerful. Um, 
as a measure of uh, basically being able to utilize Microsoft Teams on short code, uh, shortcut codes as well. So again, we'll just go backslash and we can see a few other things um, that are very helpful uh, that you might want to start using just from this section here. The other thing that you can do is uh, pull up app mentions, right? So you can start to then find people um, by the at symbol. Um, so again, Chris there, and I can type a message and I can send it to him just using the at symbol. So something that is, uh, not many people tend to do, they tend to use this as more of a search. Um, so again, I could go with Chris uh, and I can find uh, everything related to Chris, right? So straight away, I've got messages there. I can find people or I can find files directly from whatever I type in there in terms of a search function. So very uh, useful to understand what goes on in Microsoft Teams and how you can utilize uh, the chat functions and the basic the communications within Microsoft Teams a little bit more efficiently than maybe you have been in the past. Hopefully you guys found this useful. I just wanted to kind of put some um, information out there on just how to generally make better use out of chat functions in Microsoft Teams. And if you did find it useful, then um, do hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. I will um, see you guys in the next video.